greetings to you today, and it's a pleasure to be able to come with you today and bring you the Word of God. I want to say, I want to say good things to my family and all my friends on Facebook and Twitter, and wherever you're listening to this broadcast. I appreciate you listening to me, and uh, I realize this is God's Word, and I want to do what I can do my part to spread the good news. I want to talk to you today a little bit about. Uh, the things that are going to transpire in the near future. And uh, uh, Jesus is coming soon is what I want to entitle this message. Jesus is coming soon. I believe probably one of the greatest signs probably in Bible history is uh, in 1948, Israel became a nation that hadn't happened for 1900 years. That's one of the signs of the times, the regathering of Israel back to their place. And they are gathered together and they've become a nation, and they've been doing very well. We know that there's going to be a great time coming up on this world that's called Jacob's Trouble. Uh, there's been 69 weeks since the Babylonian captivity took place in the Old Testament, and that lasted for what they call 69 times, times uh, 7, would leave 483 years, and there's one week left, and that's called the Great Tribulation. It's going to be a time of great sorrow and disappointment to all the people on, that planet Earth, on this planet Earth. We don't know when that's exactly going to happen. We know it could happen any time. We know we've got great things going on, some difficult times going on right now in this world. I do think the first thing that we need to concentrate on, that Jesus is going to come for his people. Now, he's coming soon. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of questions about, uh, um, about uh, pre-trib and mid-trib and post-trib. I don't think we should concentrate all of that. I've always told people over the years that I believe that whenever the first load goes out of here, I want to be on the first load, and I want to be with Jesus because he's coming in the clouds of glory for us. That's the next important thing that I believe that's going to happen in the event of our world, and that is Jesus is coming back for his church. I'd like to read you from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse number 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, not an imposter, but Jesus himself, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the, the, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with the Lord in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And there's one great scripture in verse 18 that says, Wherefore we should comfort one another with these words. Now that's what I'm trying to do today, believers. I'm trying to comfort you. There's a promise that there is going to be life after death for the believers. Uh, for those who trust God, there's going to be a rapture, and I think it could happen any day now. I think all the signs have been fulfilled. I don't know of one sign that hasn't been fulfilled. Jesus said there, this generation will not pass away till all these things be fulfilled. When he talked about in the 24th chapter of Matthew about all the signs that were going to take place, and we know we're right there close to that day. And after that, that time happens, there's going to be a great tribulation period, and the tribulation is going to be one of the worst things that's ever happened in this world. It will be the worst thing that ever happened. I've looked at the Egyptian plagues that happened to the children of Israel uh, back when Pharaoh would not let them go, and there was plagues on the Egyptians. They're going to be similar in the days of the tribulation period, like the sea is going to turn into blood. There's going to be a vicious time on this earth. The very uh, sun and moon are going to be altered. It's going to be quite a time. And we know when the tribulation opens, the Antichrist is going to be revealed. It talks about him in the 13th chapter of Revelation. And it's a beast and the false prophet. We know the false prophet is going to be a religious system. He's going to emulate the Holy Spirit. And, of course, we know the Antichrist is going to try to emulate Jesus Christ himself. He's going, to, he's going to thrive and come as a man of peace for the first three and a half years. He's going to set up his image in the temple that is going to be rebuilt, I think, real soon. We don't know when exactly that's going to happen, but we know it's going to happen soon. And we know that Jesus is coming back for his church, and we know that there's great things going to happen on this earth. 
Now, we, we may have to go through some things in America before we ever reach that day of Jesus coming. I'm not saying we're going to go through the tribulation period, but we don't know what's in store for us in the days ahead. It's good to be wise and do all those things that are pleasing in the eyes of God. Also, the battle of Armageddon will be fought when all the saints of God are going to come back with Jesus in the clouds of glory and fight the battle of Armageddon. And that's going to be, uh, of course, there's going to be after that, you know, Satan's going to be unleashed again and uh, uh, after the thousand years, but he's going to be put in a, in a bottomless pit and there's going to be a thousand years of millennial reign. That's going to be a wonderful time for the people of God where the lion shall lay down with the kid and there's going to be a wonderful time of peace for everyone. I want to tell you something. There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. This earth that we live on is not going to be the same. Jesus is going to alter the very things that are going on in this world. I'll tell you what, I don't know about the judgment of God. I don't know just exactly how many of us are going to fall under that guideline. But for instance, I think it pays us to be ready to meet Jesus because we know this could be the day that Jesus Christ comes. He could come any time now. I want to encourage you and comfort you with these words. And I want to tell the body of Christ not to live in fear not to walk in anxiety, not to do anything that will hinder your relationship with God. Regardless of what's going on all around us today, trust God with all of your heart and lean not to those things that appear to your own understanding, but every way acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. I want to encourage you today and I'll talk to you again real soon and may the Lord bless you real good.